What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're just booting up eFootball 2024. We're going to do this live. I'm just off an 11 hour live stream. If you want to see how the game is flowing, right? I've got some good news and bad news. You can see there on the bottom right hand corner, V3.4 is officially on the update for all platforms, right? Um, good and the bad, right? We're going to go into a very gameplay heavy one. I think, you know, we've streamed for about 11 hours today. And I, I do feel like that you really need to play this game because there's a lot of stuff going on in this, right? We have the Blue Lock collaboration, which is an anime there. You have new big time Arsenal cards coming. You've got new nominating contracts. I'm going to go through pretty much everything fairly off the rip. If you haven't logged in already, um, you will probably be looking to get these. So you've got the Blue Lock collaboration. Going to be going through some gameplay stuff. But in terms of actually showing gameplay, I'll throw a couple of clips here maybe. Um, but if not, I will do a very deep dive on the gameplay because I want to do my impressions on V3.4. I definitely think V3.4 is going to be a very, 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 like switching up a lot of stuff in it. But there's tiny changes, but they make a big difference to the flow of the game. So as you can see here, we're going to get our Blue Lock collaboration, we're going to get our Blue Lock Kubo collaboration, as well as Inzaghi. These are all free, and we're going to get a European club player as well. They've also added this uh, position trainer, so I'm going to show you everything as a login bonus. So the first thing is to go through, right? I'm going to go through this as quickly as I possibly can. You've got your new events here. Essentially, you're going to play your Unlimited for your coins and all that. In this AI event here, you're going to have your blue lock for selection, which is against the AI. All you have to do in this is play this match against the AI. The conditions are set by the AI itself. You can change the difficulty. It's very, very easy. But once you complete that, you are going to be getting three blue lock players. Which players do you actually get? Well, we're going to show you straight up. eFootball League, everything is still the same, right? These are the players that you're going to be getting in the eFootball uh, Blue Lock collaboration. And we're going to show you right here as well as the other players. You've got Kubo that's going to join. You've got Inzaghi with the anime design. And you also have your free spin, right? We'll get to the daily game in a second. This is just more of a roundup of the content before we go deep into the gameplay. So these are the Blue Lock players that you see here. You get one as a login, right, as a login bonus, and you also earn another tree from the event, okay? Does that make sense? So when we spin this, it's going to disappear. But if we play the event that we just showed you, the blue lock one, you will unlock three more. And over the campaign, which is ending in 28 days time, you're going to unlock the rest of these, okay? It's the same as the free um, Bastoni and Mbappe that they released with the festive pack a while ago. We also have our worldwide player of the weeks, right, just as a bit of a roundup. These are the players here. I'll do a full review on them, uh, but they're not great. The other pack that you get, you actually get the European Club Championship ones. You get a free one in that as well. So, for example, you'll have Alvarez, you'll have Mbappe, Kane, De Ligt. There's some good players in here. Uh, David Reyes, who we got. We're going to spin that one. And, of course, you can earn another one of these uh, by playing the other event. The Blue Lock one is going to be pretty similar to this, that you get the free one. So, we get David Reyes again. I already got him on the profile that we streamed with earlier, our main profile. Very good player, he's got the booster as well. The rest of them then are, are 100 coins each. We also get, on top of that, new classic number 10 players. Why classic number 10? Well, they've revamped the entire classic number 10 playstyle. You've got four, five players in here, four players that are level five, or uh, four, sorry, three that are level five rating, and then these two, Ganzo and Gian Mario, are four star ratings. So you can get one of these, that's no problem, and if you want to get any of these, you can. If we want to buy Dybala and try him out, we can do that. It's very, very easy to do that, no problem whatsoever, and you get a free five star for playing 15 matches. If you don't have that already used, you can use that until it's expired, and then just get them. So that's also added as well. They've also added this brand new pack, which is 1,500 coins. Now, I'm going to have a video on reviewing this pack specifically because we actually got donated in the live stream by Lou Cola, one of the members on our stream, and he donated 1,500 coins to get this pack. This is what you get within the pack. You get a booster premium version of Inzaghi, which is tied to the blue lock booster as well, but he's a better version compared to the free one. I'll have a review out on him. You get a new avatar. You get 40,000 trainer XP. And you get this kit here, which is modeled here by our new sign-in, uh, Pedri. Or sorry, I thought that was Dybala. That is Pedri. Sorry, boys. That is the design there. Um, so whether you like that design or not is up to you. In terms of the other content, we are going to be getting a refresh of other stuff. Zico is still there as well. The objectives still stay the same. There's been a couple of changes to players' prices, stats, ratings, um, everything like that. One big change that they've also added as well 
is the ability to now be able to add uh, different positions to players. So for example, you will get a login bonus for the next seven days of a position trainer. So it's brand new here that they've added. Position training goes in here. It says that you can spend position trainer programs to learn new pos position proficiency, different numbers of additional slots. Players can have up to two additional proficiency spot spots or slots. Some players may only have one and overlap. Players will not be able to learn a player proficiency they already possess. So when we go in here to Neymar, you can see that he's got left wing, center forward, SS, AMF, and left midfielder. If we want to change his position here, we can use one of these, which is a trainer uh, that they've added. And we are now going to be able to play him, and he doesn't, he doesn't actually get it, right? So that is a bit of a bust, because he already can play CF. So it's very similar to the skills. But you do have the potential of also getting right wing, right mid, or CMF. So you can actually have him proficient in that. So yeah, it's a bit of a bust, obviously, that you can't pick which position. It's kind of a bit silly. Um, but I can see what they're trying to go with to kind of have that random factor there. You know, there's a lot of RNG in this game. Um, in terms of everything else, you've got new objectives as well. Once you get blue lock players, you can do this and unlock different things with this, with the different featured versions. So once you unlock Rashford or Garnacho or Muller or Hoyland, whoever you get on the, on the, the free spin... And whoever that you actually get when you earn the other four, you can unlock these to have uh, with the collaboration and unlock these objectives, right? What else? There's nothing updated in the packs, the shop, anything like that. That won't come yet. Um, the daily game. So people were asking about the daily game. They've actually added more laps to the daily game, right? So if you haven't got all the players yet, like Costa Corta, Maradona and Ronaldo, you can continue to uh, accelerate and progress through this. And that's going to cover pretty much all the new updates there that way with the lap the lap seems to be going to be going on for another while so for example they have now added new players for extra laps so wiltshire is in there uh Kalangalu is in there and savage is in there as well as costa corta so if you didn't already spin for costa corta you could be in bad luck that you get one of these two boys instead of costa corta or wiltshire but if you have done a few laps you will already get this chance at lap 20 and at lap 25 and of course at lap 30. So you can see out the laps and get all players. That is the laps done. It's the same mini game. It's the same penalties. Okay. Other than that, man, I think that's pretty much it in terms of um, stuff like that. They've also revamped the managers a little bit. So for example, any manager now that has a lot uh, that has a larger than 86 team play style proficiency is going to get an extra boost to their stats, certain stats in game. So the likes of Pep and Klopp give certain stat boosts to certain stats of a player. I'll go into that in a specific video. All you need to know is that some of your players' ratings could be changed. Like they might have gone from 101 overall to 103 overall, depending on what stats are boosted with Klopp or Guardiola. Ten Hag still has his boost with the speed, but that seems to have changed a little bit. I'll do a specific video on that because it can be a bit confusing, okay? The rest of the stuff, man, that we're going to talk about is essentially going to be gameplay stuff. Now, they've talked about gameplay updates here and the add-ons and the additions. Have a read through this. Have a look back at our stream. They've touched and tweaked dribbling, feints, passing, traps, shooting, kicking. Everything is kind of different, right? I would say to round it up, having played for seven hours and streamed for 11, where we did seven and a half to eight hours, if not eight and a half hours of pure raw gameplay, I would say for me at the moment, the pros of V3.4, dribbling is very, very, very nice. It's improved. The responsiveness off the ball, when you're controlling the manual defending, you're manually defending your lines, you're controlling, your player switching, seems to be much improved as well. I would say maybe improved by about 10 to 15%. The dribbling is probably improved by about 10, 15%. And I would also say that the traps and the actual ability to be able to get rid of the ball out of your feet when you're defending and clearing your lines is probably about 10 or 15% improved as well. In terms of the passing and stuff, I still think the passing needs serious work, man. The passing lanes get super clogged up. Interceptions are rampant still, especially with certain metas. The meta hasn't been touched. The player freezing is still a little bit of an issue. The flow of the game is slightly better, but those issues that are still there kind of can be a concern if you're coming up against somebody that plays very narrow, very meta, and very aggressive. There still doesn't seem to be... Um, you can play possession. Listen, we played games on stream today where we beat really meta guys, where we were playing anti-meta. And you can do that. 
But the game doesn't fully, fully, fully reward you for holding possession. You could have 70% possession with 20 shots and still lose 1-0 with somebody that just goes ping, 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 shot on goal, boom. And that's fun in a way as well because obviously everybody has different play styles and stuff. The game isn't designed for me and my ideal play style. It's designed for a wide variety of people. But I would like to see that nerfed. Defensively, I would say that the game has gone better manually defensive. I mean, I was on top of people today and I felt like I played a lot better defensively. It was very tight when I was concentrating. Um, so I definitely feel like some of the stuff here, very interestingly, they talk about the influencing of the heaviness of the touch was influenced by either the tackling or the ball control. That was something that I hadn't really noticed too much. I always train my defenders to have as high tackling as possible. So it probably overcompensated for players with bad ball control. Um, but yeah, tackling now is the only stat taken into account. Adjustments, more suitable tackling motions and animations, blocking animations, judgment of players when attempting blocks. This all feels nice and it sounds nice. They've made a huge change to the team play style, which is, or the team, the player play style called classic number 10, right? I'll go into that in a specific video because I want to show you exactly what Gundogan and all those players now do. But they have made big changes to that play style. The classic number 10, the movement of a classic number 10 can be huge, right? It can be huge. And it does be game changing if you're not used to it. But people will cap, cop on to that eventually. And then there's also just changed the fouls. I didn't notice the fouls too much. The refs are still pretty poor. The collision system needs work. A lot of shoulder charges still don't be pulled up. That's something that they need to tweak, man, I think for eFootball 25, if not before. But other than that, man, you can have a quick read through that yourselves. But for me, I would definitely say, yeah, that the pros with the dribbling, the freedom, the free flowing is still a little bit uh, better. Maybe 10 to 15% of what was really good about this game is improved by 10 or 15%. But I would still like him to go that extra step further by widening out the play a little bit, improving the spacing and rewarding the spacing a little bit. They've also touched on crosses and corners. That was highlighted in the trailer here. As you see, that was highlighted in the trailer where they talk about the trailer here, um, where they talk about different things with the trailer. And that's something that I think will come back um, into the game as the game goes on with V3.4 and onwards. They'll talk about different things in the trailer. And the things that they're highlighting in the trailer is going to be what they've looked at. So that is kind of be what they have really at the top of their kind of pile when they're looking at improvements to V3.4. You will see those things that we talked about highlighted. Of course, you've got the anime here, the anime Blue uh, Lock collaboration. I've watched a couple of episodes of Blue Lock. Um, I must go back to it. You've got all the new celebrations in there as well. That's cool. Special collaboration with Blue Lock. Listen, I get it if you're not really into this guy, lads, or into this um, collaboration. Like, But to be honest with you, lads, this is kind of like the skins um in warzone you know in pogba messi and snoop dogg were added to warzone you know what i mean if, if you don't have an interest in this stuff you can kind of stay away from it really apart from the free players they give you um but yeah the gameplay stuff that you're going to see here where they talk about the crosses and the classic number 10 that's going to be kind of the gameplay specific stuff that they really want to highlight i do feel like that's going to be something to be tweaked again I definitely do feel that it's going to be tweaked. There you've got all the campaign, all the special login, and all the tour event bonuses that you're going to be getting. Now we're talking about gameplay here. We've already covered the position training where you have it here. This is showing you in an ideal situation where they'll give you the center forward proficiency. Any car, any position that's in the, the kind of faded out green can be trained up. But it's like the skill trainer that if you already get that skill uh, or if you already get that position, you can talk about that. Um, and you can do it that way. Now, they also talk about a couple. I would say that the new conviction or the improved conviction for headers and defending. I would say the heading is definitely improved. It's about the spacing. It's very hard to get spacing out wide and get a good ball in unless you really set up your whole team around that. And still, you very rarely will dominate a guy 3-4-0 by crossing the ball in. It's very much so tippy-tappy in the box. But it seems to be more animation-based. I think that there's a lot of anim animations now for dipping and dipping out, dipping in, dipping out, you know, stabbing in, stabbing out, with corners and with defending. That's how I feel about it. It's more so that the gameplay animations are taken over and that they've been added. So, yeah, we talked about the classic number 10 as well. We've already covered that. 
But here again, I'm going to show you a couple of real life against Division 1 sweaty players, showing you exactly how the classic number 10 plays. I've loads of clips, we've loads of stuff to talk about with Gundo. So we will look at that as well. Again, that's a lovely rasper as well. In terms of shooting, in terms of passing, I haven't seen massive differences. There's a couple of different animations that are being thrown in, and there's the classic number 10 players as you see there. The championship is going to be coming back. You can see the boys designing their cards, and that's going to round us off with everything. So we've got the trailer wrap-up, we've got the player wrap-up, we've got the gameplay wrap-up. I'm going to do a specific gameplay review as well after my stream today. We've got lots of clips to go through. But let me know your thoughts, boys. 15-minute video wrapped up with everything. Let me know your thoughts. I will be back later on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.